Here we'll see the functions of medical officer in the PHCs. So for this, before this, I want you to imagine our surgery HOD and the functions of him, right? So he just uh, comes to the hospital in the morning and goes for the rounds, OP rounds. And evening, he'll come and teach the lectures. The schedule includes basic health services, treating the patients with medicines and minor surgery. In the medical colleges, we follow the rules given by NMC, right? So as he is the HOD, he'll also see if the rules are being implemented in his college. Also, he'll train the people under him like lecturers, PGs, and also conducts the staff meeting every month. So now let us look at this uh, actual thing. So the medical officer here is the captain of the health team at the primary health center. He devotes the morning hours for the patients in the outdoor and afternoon for the supervisors to field work. Just like the HOD is going for morning rounds in the OP, the medical officer is also at attending the patients in the outdoor. And also he supervises the field work in the afternoon. The second thing, his schedule include basic health services including the family planning program. See, see I said the HOD does some basic health services, he treats the patient and also does some minor surgeries. So here I want you to correlate this minor surgeries with tubectomy and the vasectomy. So coming to the point number six, this medical officer organizes and conducts tubectomy and the vasectomy camps, right? And coming to the point number three, so he'll plan and implement UIP as per the guidelines and ensure maximum possible coverage of population in the PHCs. He'll also ensure the proper storage of vaccination, maintenance of cold chain and also adequate supply of the vaccination. See, I said like HOD has three roles. One is basic health services, treatment, minor surgeries. This minor surgeries point is uh, about this family planning program and the basic uh, health services is in the point number two. Now coming to treatment. So in treatment, we give medicines, right? I want you to correlate this medicines with the vaccination. Choose the proper storage of vaccination, cold chains and supplies the vaccination to the majority of the people. Same point you can also see in the point number five. He'll go and visit the schools, arrange the medical checkups and follow the immunization. So based on vaccinations, we have two points. That means proper storage of vaccination and conduction of immunization programs in the schools. Also, HOD will take care if the rules are being implemented in this college, which are given by NMC. Right. Same like that. Here, the point number four. He'll also ensure the proper implementation of IMNCI as per the guidelines. And also point number eight, he'll ensure the national health programs are being implemented in this area. The next point is he guides the lecturers and the PGs under him, right? So point number 10, he spends one day in each month organizing the staff meetings at the primary health center to discuss the problems and review the progress of health services. It's just like he's teaching lecturers, he'll also go uh, to the sub-centers because the, under the primary health center, you have different sub-centers. Medical officers also going to the sub-centers regularly on the fixed days and guiding them, supervising them and providing a leadership to them. The lecturers part is over, coming to the PGs. Medical officer is also organizing training practices for the ASHAs, Anganwadi workers and guys. So I think I covered every point. The last point is the success of primary health center depends largely on the team of leadership which the medical officer should be able to provide. The medical officer must be the planner, promoter, director, supervisor and the coordinator as well as the evaluator. This point, he wakes up and attends the patients and in the evening, in the afternoon, he supervises the field work. The second, his schedule includes basic health services, minor surgeries and treatment. The minor surgeries is related with family planning program under which we'll add the tubectomy and the vasectomy camps in the correlated treatment with medicines, which means vaccinations, right? So the proper storage of vaccination, cold chain equipment and supplies of the vaccination according to URP schedule is maintained. And also along with the vaccination, we'll also go to the schools regularly, provide the medical checkups and immunization. And the basic health services is already there. The next, he follows the rules of NMC. So he'll ensure the proper implementation of IMNCI and also he'll see if the national health programs are being conducted in this area. Next, he'll guide the lecturers and PGs. So under lecturers, he visits the sub-centers every now and then and, and give them the guidance. Under PGs, he'll organize training programs for the personals like Asha, Sanganwadi workers and Dais. So the last point is, he'll he conducts a staff meeting to review the progress of health services or a health activity. Planner, promoter, director, supervisor and the coordinator as well as the evaluator. This is about functions of medical officer. Bye.